Hello and welcome. Today in this video we'll try to find out what will happen if you connect a modern GPU to an old PC. Okay, let's go. ITAP company is hosting a back to school giveaway event right now. Prizes worth $600,000. You can win with a 100% chance and you will immediately know what you have won. As you can see it has 9 school bags. All you need is to click on the school bag, win the prize and check the mailbox to receive the prize. You will get a special code. For example, I won a 6 months ITOP data recovery key. If you are interested, all links will be in the description. Have you ever wondered what is the most compatible PC component? Maybe it's a processor, or a motherboard, or maybe a hard drive. None of these, because the most compatible PC component is the graphics card. Now I'll tell you why. As we know, the graphics card is connected via PCI Express slot. PCI Express has five versions, and they are compatible with each other. The first PCI Express version was created in 2003. What it means? It means we can connect a modern video card even to an old motherboard, which has released 20 years ago. Can you imagine? So I got uh, GTX 1080. I know it's not new, but it's modern. Also have one of my old PCs. It has ASUS P7P55D motherboard, Intel i7-860. This is one of the first generation of Intel i7 processors and 16GB of RAM DDR3. Of course it has a graphics card called ATI Radeon 5850. It has 1GB of memory. I will also show you the tests of this video card in modern games. To test modern games, I will install Windows 10 on it. Windows 10 was installed successfully. Now we need to install the drivers. And as you can see, the only drivers we can download is for Windows 7 64 bit. There are no drivers for Windows 10 and Windows 11. What can we do about it? Fortunately, Windows 10 has chipset drivers for this motherboard. What about display drivers? If you will go on the official AMD site, here we can find Windows 10 drivers, which is great. Okay, now let's test modern games. Here you can see Fortnite. PUBG, Control, GTA 5, etc. First of all, I will test modern games on an old graphics card, ATI Radeon 5850. Is it possible to run any modern game on it? Let's find out. To see how many FPS we will get, I will install MSI tool. Ok, let's try to run Fortnite. And oh my god, it's working. We have 15 FPS in the lobby. Let's enter the game. And we have 5, 6, 9, 11 FPS. And as you can see, some textures won't load. Honestly, this is surprising, because this old GPU can run Fortnite. Ok, go next, let's try PUBG. I set all settings to Ultra, and we have 12 FPS in the lobby. Ok, let's play the game. Oh, oh my god. We have 1, 2, 3 FPS. Oh, we have 20 FPS. Ok, go next, let's try to play Control. Oh great, we can select DirectX. This is great, because our GPU doesn't support DirectX 12. It supports only DirectX 11. 144 FPS in the lobby. All settings to Ultra. Let's play the game. And we have 1, 1 FPS. You may notice our CPU is not loaded at all. The reason is our GPU just cannot process the image. That's why the processor is not loaded. And oh my god, it has zero FPS right now. Anyway, it's amazing. I mean, that it can actually run on this PC. Ok, go next, let's try GTA 5. For some reason, I can change the resolution. Ok, let's try to set the settings to a minimum then. And look at this, we have 70 FPS, which is very nice. This is not surprising, because the game was released in 2013. It was 10 years ago. Ok, go next, let's try Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And the error message appears. It says Fatal Direct X error. And the reason is, to play Call of Duty, you need a graphics card, which supports Direct X 12, but our old GPU supports only Direct X 11. Ok, now we'll try to install GTX 1080, but before this, we need to uninstall the drivers from ATI Radeon. That's why I will use a program called Display Driver Uninstaller. And we have a problem. Our modern GPU, GTX 1080, is not fit into the case. But don't worry. As you can see here, we can pull out the hard drives. And now it fits perfectly. Now I try to turn on our PC. And 
the error message appears. Please connect the PCI power cable. The reason why this message appeared is our power supply has only a 6-pin connector. But to turn on GTX 1080, we need an 8-pin connector. So I'll just take a power supply from my new computer and install it in the case. Now it's working properly. Go to Device Manager and here it is, GTX 1080. Good news, we can use GeForce Experience, which allows us to record gameplay in games. Ok, let's test modern games, but now using GTX 1080. Let's try Fortnite. And we have 100 FPS on Ultra settings. Let's play the game. We have 16 FPS, it's working well, but it freezes sometimes. Look, it shows only 5 FPS. You may notice our CPU is loaded 100%. 100%? But this can be said about GTX 1080. The reason is simple. Our processor doesn't have enough power to handle Fortnite. But you can play, and you will have around 60 FPS. To reduce CPU usage, I will set the minimum settings. Let's see what happens. And look, it's much better now. But again, it still freezes sometimes. It happens because the processor is loaded 100%. But we have 100 FPS. It's great. Just think about it. i7-3770K was released in 2012, and after 11 years you can play Fortnite with 100 FPS. Incredible, isn't it? Go next, let's try to play PUBG Ultra Settings, and we have 200 FPS. Looks very good. We have 80 FPS average, and as you can see now, our CPU is not loaded 100%. Looks like CPU usage in Fortnite much more than in PUBG. Go next, let's try GTA 5 Ultra settings, and we have over 40 FPS. Go next, let's try Control Ultra settings. Oh, nice! We have almost 60 FPS. Great! And look, our CPU is not loaded 100% too. What about Call of Duty? And the error message appears, but I solved it. And we have 60 FPS, and oh no, the game was crashed. Ok, let's try again. And we have 50 FPS average. Great, you can play the game without any problems. I will set all settings to minimum for experiment. Let's see what happens. And as you can see, we have the same FPS. The reason is we have a bottleneck. As you can see, GTX 1080 is only 40% loaded. It means our graphics card works faster than the CPU. Now we'll show you three tests on one screen. The first is Intel i7 860 plus ATI 5850. This is the old PC. The second is the same CPU plus GTX 1080. And the third, Intel i9 9900K plus GTX 1080. This is my modern PC. And now we will find out, is it worth to install a modern graphics card in an old PC? As you can see on Intel i9 9900K, we have a huge amount of FPS. On Intel i7 860 plus GTX 1080, we have 50 FPS average. It's not much, but you can play comfortably. On ATI 5850, we have only 10 FPS. It's very low, and you won't be able to play the game normally. Ok, go next, PUBG. You can play normally using Intel i7-860 plus GTX 1080. As you can see, we have over 100 FPS, which is really nice. Go next, Control. Oh, look at this. We almost have no difference between Intel i7-860 and Intel i9-9900K. Great, it means you can play Control normally on an old PC using a modern graphics card. Go next, GTA 5. And here you can play GTA 5 normally on an old PC too. To sum up, as we see in most cases, you can play games normally using a modern graphics card in an old PC. But it depends on how much CPU usage the game will take. You may have a CPU bottleneck. For example, Fortnite was freezes sometimes because of it. And Call of Duty has this issue too. If this video gets 5000 likes, I will take a real modern graphics card. RTX 4070 and installed in one of the first motherboards, which first has PCI Express slot. If you enjoyed this video, press the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. See you later, bye.